honey. The same people. <laughs> The same people that was over there doing spell work. Wishing that you lived a, a bad life. Wishing that you was not successful. Hoping that you failed. Going against your plans. Well, whatever they wished for you, because they was doing it. Magician, not of swords. They was trying to hide their hand over their plan and shit. Well, everything that they... Everything that they was doing and saying about you, like they're living that life now. Like it just reversed back to them. Whatever type of spell word they was over there trying to do, they was trying to whip some shit up. Even if they was just simply saying things and intentionally, like they was saying things knowing that they could bring negativity to you. All that motherfucking evil eye. Yeah. It didn't do nothing but Turn around and go towards them. Now they trying to run and duck and dodge the karma. Uh-uh. Don't do that. <laughs> it's going to get you regardless, babe. You, you can't duck it. What you going to do when they come for you, bad boy, bad boy? What you going to do? Huh? They stuck. <laughs> No, that's not even funny. They ran right into some bullshit. See what I'm saying? They was trying to send you psychic attacks, trying to get you stuck, trying to control you. Hell, voodoo dolls. Look, that motherfucker thought they was going to have you on up. They thought they was just going to be to control you because of what they was doing behind the scenes, honey. Could have even paid somebody to do it. But guess what? They played with fire. They was over there playing with some demonic dark shit. They was over there playing with the devil. When you're bigger and greater than the devil, the devil could never. They spell work could never. Their words could never. The evil eye could never. None of it could never. And they know at this point. They're very aware that whatever they was doing and sending to you, they're very aware that that's why they ass is going through what they're going through now. They're aware collective. Please don't think that they stupid when they ain't. They tried to hide their hand and still got caught up. What they think? <laughs> so they thought they was going to outsmart God. Because they made a deal with the devil. Because they made friends with the devil, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now, when the devil come to collect, you see what I'm saying? Justice coming out crossing. Ten of wands at the bottom of the deck, child. Tired. They tired. They wore out. They look a mess. They're dingy. Two of swords and a justice, honey. Whatever they was trying to get away with, yeah, just no collective. They're not. Y'all didn't even know what whoever this was was doing for real like y'all don't even know how deep they really went because they went there collective they sure did they went there and now they must fucking pay for some of y'all they try to take your entire identity literally wanted you gone so they could like embody your energy Somebody was doing something real wicked, honey. Real wicked. To steal your inheritance. To steal, to steal your wealth. And for some of y'all, this could have been your own family. Because they knew you was the one that God chosen to heal the bloodline. Wouldn't they want that, though? Wouldn't they want the bloodline to be healed? That's how you know they fucked up. Because that don't make no sense. God gave you the power. And God gave you this to do. Like, God gave you this assignment. Because God already knew that you was going to do right. You was not going to try to take advantage of people. Or use your power in a negative way. 
that jealous and that envy didn't get him nowhere but fucked up. Sad case. And you sitting here doing your big one, relaxing. Sitting on your motherfucking throne. You're the golden child. You're the chosen one. And they could never fuck with you. Seven of Wands, you're protected highly. You're protected by many. You're loved by many. And I know as a chosen one, as somebody that's healing, as somebody that had no choice but to get on this path, sometimes we feel like we don't have nobody. Sometimes we feel like we're not loved. And in this physical realm, you may not know too many that actually love you and support you yet. But just know spiritually, you're covered. It was so many things that people was trying to send your way and your ancestors stopped it, literally. You're loved, my, you're loved. And that's just a reminder because I know this shit can get tough. This shit can get hard. Because a lot of times when you're healing and you're truly breaking generational curses, you're elevating in life, a lot of times you're alone in this physical realm. You don't really have too many people because there's not too many authentic people. There's not too many people that can accept you for who you are for real. Because they tend to get envious of who you are for real. They tend to get jealous. They tend to get weird. And it's like, why? I was just trying to be your friend. I was just trying to be your lover. I was just trying to be there for you because I know how I feel to not have somebody. You know exactly how I feel. A lot of y'all really never had anybody. Especially when it comes down to family. The ones that were supposed to be there for you. They weren't. Since you've been a child, you've just been trying to fit in. So it made you want to love people even more. And you should still continue to love people. What's for you is coming in. I promise you that. Can't nobody take what's yours. Can't nobody take what God got for you. Can't nobody take your destiny. They can't do shit. They're going to fail every time this is deep but just know you're gonna be okay baby they tried it but they could never succeed period <laughs>